Race fans, start your engines. Gamers, start your consoles. It's the Speedrunners Cup Series Gatorade Duel Number 2 at Daytona. So the drivers you see highlighted in green have already qualified for Sunday's Daytona 500, excuse me, Monday's Daytona 500. The drivers that you saw in yellow will be competing in tonight's qualifying race. And look who's starting in the fourth position, our own announcer, Josh Hodges. So in his place, we have another announcer. Hi, I'm Altesia, and I'm from the UK. Jolly old England's got nothing on America. Thank you, Al. Welcome to the studio. Now, the drivers that you saw highlighted in red have already failed to qualify for the race. And Daryl Waltrip is currently the top wild card seed. There's one possibility of one of these racers out qualifying him. We'll find out. And we are green at Daytona. And already, Robbie Gordon has taken a pretty big lead on the rest of the field. That's right, guy Mike. Robbie Gordon is one of the most talented race car drivers in all of the world. You see him in IndyCar, you see him in NASCAR, you see him in USAC, you see him in Champ Car, you see him in the Super Trucks. has just hijacked the lead from Robbie Gordon. Well, I wouldn't put it past Robbie Gordon to take that lead back. And there's this battle for fourth now going on between Dale Sr. and Brad Kozlowski. Two of the best restricted... Whoa! pushing in the wall. He saved it! both save it. That is pure car control by both drivers, Dale Sr. and Kurt Busch. I thought for sure at least one of them was going to wreck. Whoa! Around goes... Oh! Oh, oh we got trouble, trouble on the front straightaway! On the front straightaway going into turn one. Kozlowski spins Edwards. Edwards hits the wall. And that destroyed the front end of his car. Edwards will not be competing in the Daytona 500. I'm listening on my radio. Josh Hodges has told his pit crew the car is terrible. He needs more air pressure and he needs a major wedge adjustment so he can turn the car a little tighter. Green flag back in the air at Daytona. It's Michael Waltrip and Dale Earnhardt. I wouldn't be sure if you could call these guys teammates or competitors because Dale Earnhardt drives for one team but owns another team, that being Michael Waltrip's number 15 for DEI. Kozlowski and Earnhardt going at it yet again. Look at Steve, Look at Steve Park. Park charging through the front end of the field from the back. Holy mackerel, I've never seen anything last. like it from Steve Park. And now he's in the center of the field. He might actually qualify for the day 500. Yeah, and if he out-qualifies everybody else, then we might see Daryl Waltrip get bumped out. No guarantee Riding about along that. Riding with Joshua Hodges. Dale Earnhardt might actually have to defend against Josh Hodges. He will not, whoa! Oh, big trouble. Gone, up in the air. That's gonna put us under the caution flag. That's actually good luck with Joey Logano. Oh, I spoke too soon. Too many men over the wall for Joey Logano. Here comes Tony Stewart down pit road. And it's just gonna be a splash and go for Tony Stewart. And look at who inherited the lead. In that cycle of pit stops, Josh Hodges has inherited the lead. I might have to have you up here in the booth on Monday. I was just gonna say, you, I might have to, I might have to take an extended paycheck. <laughs> and look at Steve Park, he's charging ever closer to the front. Oh, Whoa. Hodges and Bush tangle a little bit. That's they the second time tonight him. Kurt Busch has saved his car from wiping out. One lap to go for Joshua Hodges. Can he win this Daytona duel? He might. He just might. just the might. Daytona 500 on Monday. just might. If, if, if he wins it, the only person who's got a shot to take him out is Earnhardt. Whoa! Oh! Around Bush goes spins Bush. Hodges. Oh, that must be so disappointing for Hodges. Hodges will not be in the Daytona 500. Just came over my radio and said, I'm okay. I had fun. So I don't think he's as disappointed as I thought. Whoa! Around goes Mark Martin. 
He saved no it. No caution. Sounds like he blew a tire he or something. Green. He did. He blew a tire. And it's going to be Dale Earnhardt winning Daytona Duel number two. And listen to that crowd going absolutely wild. I have... I have never seen a crowd going as mad as this one since Richard Petty won the 1979 the the Daytona 500. Reacting, you'd think he won the Daytona 500 itself, and this is only qualifying race number two. And with Hodges having crashed out on the last lap, Daryl Waltrip is your wild card qualifier. So here's your starting grid. Danica Patrick and Robbie Gordon will be on the front row. Jeff Gordon and Dale Earnhardt will be on the second row from the wins in these dual races. And we've got some surprising names that actually qualified for the field. We've got Eric Jones, Kyle Lawson, Michael Waltrip, Adam Petty. Adam Petty failed to qualify for Saturday's Bush race and he'll be in the Daytona look 500. look this. Ten different drivers failed to qualify. Brendan Gaughan, David Reagan, Kerry Earnhardt, Joe Nemechek, Front row Joe of all people failed to qualify. Yeah, Joe Nemechek is notorious for qualifying on the front row in the real world. And Josh wanted me to remind you to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so that you won't miss a single lap of tomorrow's truck race, the Daytona 250. I want to thank Altesia for joining me in Josh's place. For Channel 3, I'm the announcer guy.